Hey guys, John here and welcome to the video 7 Pro Tips for Citrus. The first thing I want to bring to your attention is this oversampling. So on the first operator I just have a saw wave going and take a look up here as I play the saw wave. We're going to see it kind of fades off a little bit here and then it kind of just disappears at the top. Now if we put this at 2 right here, we're going to see quite a little difference right here. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. If you're kind of playing a patch, putting something together and you want a little bit better quality, maybe go up to two. If your computer can handle it, go up to four. This goes all the way up to 64, which is quite a bit. I wouldn't recommend going that high. And then the other box here is for the render. So once you render out your song, it's going to be at that sampling or oversampling multiplication value. So the next thing that I don't know if a lot of people are aware of, this little menu up here has a lot of cool stuff. So if I go to our unison, let's put like four. Maybe drop it down octave or so. So I have four unison. Here's just kind of my basic settings. So if we go to this little drop down arrow, arrow right here, we can go to unison and then we have different kinds of unison. We have the original version or we have the improved, which is kind of default. Then you have uniform. And it's just a little different way the uh, the voices are stacked against each other. It's kind of similar to, uh, to Harmer. And then you have blurred. Which generally, I kind of, I really like Blurred, but uh, let's go back to Improved. And then also something to keep in mind on this Unison, after the dist distribution, you have basically different presets that are going to change the sliders up here for the, uh, for the Unison. So if we went to, let's say, Detuned, we can see that these change and it gives an order of six. And it automatically sounds detuned. So it's a faster way to, to get some unison settings rather than kind of fiddling with the, uh, the sliders here. So a lot of these tips are kind of to just speed things up a little bit when you're making a patch. And then go f feel free to mess around with a few of these. There's a lot of cool stuff here. So example, flanged. It gives a very oldish kind of analog sound to it. So if you're kind of going for that vibe and you need some unison, definitely a good preset to, to check out. So the, uh, the next thing I want to kind of show you guys is the effects presets. So let's go back to our unison and let's go to a default here and let's get some effects going on. So by default, we just have some chorus at four. So let's bring this down here. So we have no effects actually going on. Now if we click the same menu and we go to the chorus and the reverb, we have a lot of different, uh, presets to play with. So if we go to reverb, one of my favorite ones is the venue and you can see how this changes automatically here. And then with it off, bone dry. And a lot of these are actually pretty cool. The, uh, the studio one is kind of cool, a uh, small studio here. Just gives, gives a little bit of openness to it. And then if we turn the reverb off, it's not limited to, to just the reverb. We also have chorus here. So if you want to have deep chorus, And then what else do we got here? Let's try modulation. So it's a very cool way to get very uh, quick effects if you need to. Feel free to play around with a lot of those. There's a lot of cool stuff you can get. So let's see what vibration does. Let's say a fair description. So definitely very cool. So let's turn our effects off for now and you can all click or middle click depending on uh, What's easier for you. So the next thing I want to show you, if we go into our operator here and then we go to our volume envelope tab and we click this little tiny arrow here and we click presets, we have a lot of cool stuff. So we have arpeggiator patterns, we have gates here. So let's say like gate basic two, for example. Very easy to get to. And there's quite a bit to choose from gate 14. Then also let's check out some of the arpeggiators. Check out classic up. So you can go on the graph and, and make your own one, but this way is very quick. If you're like, I just need a quick uh, arpeggiator going up. You can do that. Alternatively, you can go here to the sampler settings, but generally I try to stay away from this as much as you can. Cause it's, sometimes it doesn't save it exactly in the uh, preset itself. You would want to change like a, you'd want to save it as a channel setting. So that's why this is, this comes in handy here. And let's see what else we got here. We have, let's see, classic up down. So it's very simple, very easy to get to. And that's kind of the whole point of that thing right there. The next thing I wanted to show you, let's turn this off here and let's send this operator to filter one and then let's send this one out. And then let's turn off this one here. 
So now we're going through the filter. Let's open this up a little bit. Maybe turn this off for now. So it's just going through the filter and we also have the wave shaper. So if we turn this on, we can see we're getting a little bit of distortion here. And you can also see it on the uh, waveform there. Now, the cool part is this little arrow right here. We have a lot of different presets for the wave shaper itself. So we can go to degrade, for example. And there's a couple other ones here. So under the presets, let's go to, let's say, harsh. And then from here, we can always adjust. So definitely kind of a cool thing to do. There's a lot of hidden presets, it seems, in uh, in Citrus to make life life a little easier, but they're kind of hard to find if you're not really if you don't really know where to look for them. And another cool thing, let's go to presets and let's go to default. So if you're here with the slider and you're like, okay, there's square, saw, triangle, sign, you can mess around with your little sliders here. But if you're a little short on inspiration, you can always go to this drop down here and say randomize waveform settings, and just give you a weird random waveform, and you can just keep going through them until maybe you find something that you like. It's kind of weird, kind of mechanical sounding. Let's drop that down too. Maybe another octave. And a quick preset of our reverb here. So reverb, let's go to the venue. So kind of something cool to mess around with. And you can also right click this and go convert shape sign harmonics and then edit further from here. Maybe a little more reverb for that. So definitely very cool. And the very last thing that I hope you guys don't, or I, and I hope you know about it, but if you don't, check this out. This is pretty cool. So if you want to split up your effects and your signal itself, if we go into our mixer here, we'll see this little, uh, or actually go on our synth here, and we'll see this little number in this icon. So it goes up channels and it goes down channels. So if we go up one channel, wherever our citrus is mapped to, the effects are going to go to the next one over. So if I hit a button, that's a little loud, let's bring that down. So then that way we can send our effects to a very different fader and we can put more effects on top of that. So think of that for a little bit. And then the minus is basically just going to the fader below where it's at. So it's going to go over here. So it really depends on where you want to put it. If you want to have it 16 faders away, then you can do that. So hopefully you guys learned something on this video. Citrus is very cool, as you already know. And yeah, hopefully I'm going to make more videos of Citrus if you guys are interested in this awesome plugin. So we'll see you in the next one.